What advice do you have for people starting a career in analytics? Well, you know, I think one of the most important things is to do analytics full time. I, I come across so many organizations where analytics is just, you know, some poor guys or poor girls, you know, part time job where they have maybe two hours a week uh, or maybe at best two hours a day to look at data and try and make important decisions from it. You, you can't do that. The subject is way too complex. The tools are way too deep now, uh, have so many features you have to get to grips with and keep on top of new features. Um, you have to do it full time. So if you're going into the analytics industry, just be aware if you take on a job, uh, you need to dedicate full time on analytics, looking at data, building your stories and helping the business move forward. Hi, this is Arif Ahmed from Luxartica Retail. Uh, this is probably the only analytics conference in this area, so glad to be a part of it. Great content and very well put together. This is what we're building towards. And we've had great success with it so far. These are just a few of the case studies that are public to show what these different attribution models can bring. Uh, one case, on the beach and travel in the UK, they were able to increase their sales and a 25% growth in ROI moving to a different attribution model. Only apartments in Spain, they increase bookings by 15% while reducing their overall costs by 10. Cell points in the US, they doubled their paid search programs while keeping their CPAs almost constant. And what's great about these case studies, not only are they public, not only are they available, but they're also not even using the most advanced technology that we have.